What's up everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm very excited today because what we are doing is we are going to attempt to make that elevated foam pit functional today. And we're gonna to attempt to make it work right. But this time, we're doing it differently. We're not using the sheet. I went to the store, I bought a, a tarp. I bought some king chain, you know, like climbing things that you're not supposed to use for climbing. Um, then I bought some uh, extra resistance rubber bands. Um, we're gonna make this thing weather resistant. We're also gonna make it removable. So it's not gonna be just like the taped up hack. It's gonna be like the taped up hack, but a little bit better. So the sheet, you guys remember the sheet from the last video when I tried like the prototype to this. Got way too weather damaged. I had to remove it, it didn't work. However, we're still using these resistance bands as the base. So first of all, if you haven't watched the last video, the idea behind this is what we're doing is we're making an elevated foam pit. So the, the pit on the trampoline is going to be elevated off the trampoline and it's only gonna take up about half of the trampoline. So you still have a place to bounce, right? Why is it elevated off of the trampoline? So it doesn't ruin the bounce. That's the idea behind this. And we tested it out with the uh, red tarp or the red sheet and it worked. Now we're gonna really put this to uh, the test and hopefully make this actually work with the elevated pillow pit. Yeah. Now something great about the tarp are these washer pieces that prevent the tarp from ripping when you tie it down, you know, to prevent something from getting wet. But in my case, it's gonna prevent it from ripping when I use it to tie it to the trampoline poles. So if you didn't see the last video, I mean, look at this. It's just, it's literally tied into itself like that. You see that? I literally just cut some resistance bands in half. You know, exercise resistance bands. You know, put it through itself like that. That's it. So I want this to be, you know, weather resistant, removable. So our bungee cords that are connected to the trampoline poles, we're gonna put those through the little king chain clamp. I'm just gonna tie it like a knot, you know, knots and tape. That's how we, how we roll around here. <laughs> See now this little piece right here, clip on the tarp, and when I get all of these tightened up, hopefully it'll lift the tarp off the trampoline, and then we can put the pillows on top, and then hopefully it'll still be off of the trampoline, so when you bounce on the trampoline, the, the foam pit or pillow pit won't ruin the bounce of your jump. Now something I learned from last video is you want the ones closer uh, to the tarp to be tighter. Now I could be testing it out, I could be like, you know, t tapping it into the, the holes and being like, all right, let's get the level out here, yeah, okay. But you know what I mean? Who cares, let's just, here, let's eyeball it. I've got all of the king chain clips tied onto the half resistance bands, onto the trampoline safety net poles. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a rough, uh, I'm gonna do a rough clip. I'm gonna clip each and every one of these king chains onto one of those holes inside of the tarp, and then hopefully it'll lift it off the trampoline. Hopefully the tarp's the right size. It might be too big. I don't know. If it is too big, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. Okay. So let's find out. All right. Crap. I'm trying to reach these like the hardest part. Grab this, grab it through the hole. Ready? Boom. Should be fine. I don't want any of these to snap and hit me in the tooth. You can see the dilemma that I'm running into here. And I'll tell you how I'm gonna fix it. It's starting to kind of work, right? Like the tarp is starting to lift off the trampoline, but at the same time, right there. The problem is, is this tarp is a little too long one way and we're not getting enough tension from the resistance bands. So what I'm gonna do is it's actually shorter if you go this way. So I'm gonna actually rotate the tarp like that and you know, we have a little gap on each side but it doesn't matter um, because the tarp will be tense and tight. Now it's gonna be too long coming this way but I'll either fold the remaining part underneath or I'll cut it off. Awesome. Look at this guys, I got help from a pretty woman. Hey, look at I. You see? It's working. 
See, I'm uh, taping, taping the, the tarp to itself underneath. And do you guys see how it's like a fort under here? That's because now the tarp is lifted off of the trampoline with the bungee cords. And what that means is that it's not going to ruin the bounce of the trampoline. See? All right, show them. Let's show them how this works. Show them how we do. Look at that. The bounce of the trampoline is still the same. But... Ah! Oh, and it goes back up. And it goes back up. Beautiful Stop thing. What are, what are you doing? I'm just trying to film you. You're so pretty. Let's go get the pillows. How many do you have? A uh, couple of them. Oh my gosh. Not only do we have the pillow suit, which we could just like throw on top, you know, that's soft, right? We also have a bunch of these other ones, brand new. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. This was cheaper than foam. Like it was literally cheaper than a foam. Foam pit foam was like 225 bucks for uh, 500 pieces of four inch by four inch by four inch, which actually isn't that big. It's about 32 inches by 32 inches by 32 inches big cube, which isn't too big. That's like, you know, not even three feet by three feet. I mean, you just get a bunch of pillows for even cheaper. It's not even a quarter of what we have. <laughs> totally weighs too much. Not like I didn't see that coming. But hopefully this will apply enough resistance to where even though it is touching the surface still, it'll make it so it doesn't affect the bounce that much. So we're in that territory now, all right? That not, much. yeah, not, uh, you know, completely not affect the bounce, but reduce the amount of bounce it affects. I don't think it's affecting the bounce, is it? Just a little bit. Oh, it's so soft. Is it? Yeah. You think, should I like, I'll like stagger them like bricks? Yeah, stagger them. Yeah, so they kind of hold together better. I don't think it matters too much though. It's just going to come apart in a second. Yeah. It's still lifted off the trampoline, believe it or not. Is it really? All right, yeah. that is some good news. So once we got it all situated, it actually still is off the surface of the trampoline. So this might work full, fully work. Put a little boundary around them and like hold them in. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's like barely touching, but it still is touching. Dang, have it. I think in some parts it's touching. What's up, only partly? Yeah, but it's doing a good job, I guess. Over front. <laughs> <laughs> so it is kind of touching. Dang, damn it. Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't affect the bounce at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it kind of affects the bounce because it's too heavy. Oh. Wow, it's really soft though. <laughs> You wow. want to try, try some stuff in there, huh? Sure, it's actually very soft. I know, but it's just, it was too heavy, so it's pulling it down. It's and heavy, it's, but it still works. Yeah, it does. It's just, um, you know, because because we're bouncing, they do move all over the place, so that is kind of an issue. Um, Straight up dog fight over yeah. there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Should try double back. Yeah. You? Yeah. I'm scared to do a double back. I don't even know where to land in it. You can already do one. Yeah, but I haven't done one in like like a month and a half. Big me, bro. What are you doing? You work up to it. <laughs> double back hack, all right? You start with a double side if you can do it. It's less scary. And then you slowly rotate. And it turns into a double back. Pretty much a land, right? <laughs>
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this actually makes it way easier to practice doubles. Cause you can like, it's weird because it's like, you can feel like your head coming close to the pillow and you like know, you just know that you got it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too much of a disappointment because uh, that was still a lot of fun. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the thing is it needs to be tighter. Uh, there probably needs to be more resistance bands. I could try putting more of those uh, tarp bands around the thing and lifting it up. But even then, maybe I should go higher, like have a layer higher and come down. Mm -hmm. That's all for another video though. It does work a little bit. The pillows are slightly lifted off the trampoline, but um, you know, with all that weight, it still does touch and it's still kind of messed with the bounce and the pillows kind of move. So you got to jump in quick after you take a few bounces, you got to jump in. Otherwise the pillows are going to disperse away from each other too much. But it, you get a few more bounces than if you were just to put the pillows straight on the trampoline without the thing, I think. I don't know, I think. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. Peace, y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. But you gotta